Nandini juggles the responsibility of running a beauty parlor and raising her kids. And with Twinkle, it's not easy. I have four daughters. The youngest is Twinkle. Three are absolutely fine. But Twinkle suffers from this problem. I don't understand what I should do. For the last two years, Twinkle Duavetti has reported spontaneous bleeding from her eyes, hands, head, and elsewhere on her body. She can start bleeding when she's watching TV or something. It can happen any time. Mostly I bleed from my head and the hands, the feet, the chest, the throat, the ears, the nose, the eyes, from everywhere. Twinkle's shocking bleeding has meant that for nearly two years she's been unable to go to school. But remarkably, there's little pain. There's no visible source. There are no cuts on her skin. What I can't understand is that she doesn't get injured for her to start bleeding. If she got hurt and started to bleed, I'd understand that. But she's not getting hurt for the bleeding to start. And when the blood's washed off, it's as if it never happened. These episodes terrified Twinkle's family. When they began two years ago, they immediately rushed her to their family physician, Dr. Siddiqui. A lot of the time, the whole family starts to cry and scream, Doctor, save her. What do we do? My sister is going to die. So I told them to take her to a hospital. Crying tears of blood is not unknown to medical science. A rare condition called hemolacria can produce tears partially composed of blood. But Twinkle's bleeding isn't restricted to her eyes. Even after consulting two other doctors, an ENT surgeon and a gastroenterologist, we still couldn't make out where the blood was from. Siddiqui referred Twinkle's case to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS. The best hospital in India is considered to be AIMS. Mommy has taken her there, but she didn't get any positive response. They said if she is bleeding, let her bleed. There is no problem. She's just looking for attention. For the most part, Twinkle's bleeding has simply been dismissed. I feel very bad that nobody is helping her. But all the places they have been to, everyone has passed the buck, from one person to the next. The doctors look at her and turn their backs. If it was their child, do you think they would turn their backs? No, they wouldn't. Now, after two years, Twinkle and her family still have no answers and are disillusioned about the ability of doctors in India to cure her.